Okay, so here's a solution. And I'm going to separate this video in a couple of different parts. That's way it's easier for you to understand this. So this now is going to be the solution. Then I'm going to do another video explaining you how I came up with a solution. And then another, another video that kind of um, go a little bit further than that. Okay, so they're splitting the, the two countries are splitting the hours in uh, 40 hours, 20 to produce one good, 20 to produce another good. US actually produces five iPhones and 10 Angry Birds. There's no trade, so that's what they consume. China produces four iPhones and two Angry Birds. There's no trade, that's what they will consume. Now we open, we open it to trade, and now they don't have to produce the same thing. They can produce something different and then trade with each other. But the goal is that each country wants to have, want to be able to consume more than they were consuming with no trade. So uh, US, for instance, can actually decide to produce only three iPhones, and China produces most of the iPhones, six iPhones. Then US actually produces all of the Angry Birds, and China produces none of the Angry Birds. So, it's, so the production total is going to be US produces three iPhones, and then uh, what is it, 14 Angry Birds. China produces six iPhones and no Angry Birds. And now the trade. One trading scheme could be that US give China three Angry Birds in exchange for three iPhones. And you see that after this trade, look what they're going to be able to consume now. Now US, after he gets the six iPhones from China, is able to consume six iPhones and 15 Angry Birds, which is actually more than they were consuming before. I'm sorry, 11 Angry Birds. So six iPhones and 11 Angry Birds, which is one iPhone more than they were consuming before and one Angry Bird more than they were consuming before. China, on the other hand, is able to consume four, uh, five iPhones and three Angry Birds, which is one more iPhone and one more Angry Bird than before. So here I prove to you that when they trade, they're able to consume more than when they no trade. So um, that's the end of this part of this video. Then the next video is going to explain to you how I came up with these numbers.